Well, hello everybody. Uh, Fast Tippy here. I am playing Riflum tonight. Um, today we will be talking about planning, forward planning, and uh, management of your cards. Um, Riflum is kind of a unique position where really his whole game plan is about managing his own cards and managing your opponent's cards. So uh, we will uh, be trying to pay attention to what my opponent has in the discard, pay attention to what options I have, and try to take advantage of, of my powerful beats when I can. On that note, um, I am going to, um, let's see, we'll do, let me set up my discards real quick. Hmm. Substantial dodge, get to install, and inspiration. Okay, yeah, so, uh, some thoughts. Um, arcane grasp is going to um, be used as a, as a free beat here, or alchem sorry, alchemic grasp. Um, it will allow me to push my opponent away and retreat away. Um, when my, I expect my opponent to go slow, I'll be using Alchemate Grass. When I expect my opponent to go fast, I'll be focusing on using the Stunning Card. So, for example, in this game, my opponent has both Drive and Grass available, so I expect my opponent to go fast this game. And because I expect my opponent to be going fast, I'm actually going to choose to go slow. Um, so, the way I'm going to choose to go slow here is uh, Experimental Shot. Um, this will give me plenty of stun guard, so if he hits me, I will get to strike back. Um, and so, yeah, because I expect my opponent to go fast with either uh, drive or grasp, I'm going to choose to go slow with stun guard. If my opponent's drive and grasp is down, then I would try to outspeed my opponent. So I'm going to try to manage my opponent's pairs in that way, where if he has fast options, I'll try to go hot, slow, and stun guard him with range. If my opponent has slow options, I'll try to go fast and get him before he hits me. So we're going to start with Experimental Shot here. This will be a slow pair that will give me full board range. Um, and also to note, my opponent's dodge is down. So doing something like a full board range shot is really good here. Since my opponent's dodge is down, he will not dodge me. Um, since I'm going shot, I'm going to anti power here. Granting speed doesn't make sense because my shot is slow. Entering uh, range doesn't make sense because I already have range. And entering stun guard doesn't make sense because I'm going to have stun guard 5 for my experimental. So, yeah, I'm going experimental shot. I'm figuring my opponent is going to go fast here. We'll see what happens. But. The idea is I want to focus on when is my opponent's dodge down, and since they're 7, I want to also focus on when their absorption is down. Uh, perhaps holding my dodge till after they pull their absorption so I can dodge the next beat. Um, and then also focus on my opponent when they're going fast or when they're going slow. Oh, so my opponent is anti uh, stun guard, indicating that they're going slow. Which I'm actually fine with since they're not ending power, they could at most be hitting me for four, maybe five, which I'll have plenty of stun guard for that, so that'll be okay. Um, yeah, so I will hopefully be able to get full board and see what they play. Uh, they also do shot. Um, yeah. So they're going to stop my on hit, but I actually don't have an on hit with experimental. Which is interesting because most of my attacks are on hit. Alchemic has on hit, Transforming has on hit, Residual has on hit. So only <coughs> experimental doesn't do on hit here. So I agree with my opponents, detach. Detach is really powerful against me. I often detach and dodge. Um, the reason is that I think leaving a detached at level 1 is really powerful and I really like to keep it at level one so I'll dodge as much as I can. As is we're gonna trade here his detached is gonna uh, go to level two which gives him soak uh, advanced and additional range which is pretty powerful but I find that detached level one is actually 
extremely useful and I usually pair it up with dodge when I play it. Since I got hit this D, I will be able to um, put another one of my um, uh, reagents onto my shot pair, which I guess will do shot range. I guess. Um, giving it stun guard doesn't make sense because I just gave it plus two stun guard. Giving it priority doesn't make sense because it goes too slow anyway. So I'll give it range. This will give me a four full board shot in most cases. So uh, let's see. At this point, my opponent uh, has his shot down and his dodge down. He's also at board center. Um, he could do something like drive um, or grasp. Again, I expect my opponent to go fast here, so I kind of want to go slow and stun guardy. Um, yeah, I expect my opponent to go fast here. So, um, my only concern here uh, is that he could do uh, either burst or remote, which would put him at long range. Um, I could also do something like drive to keep that range. Uh, that would be most of his fast, uh, both of his dodge moves. Um, because he has two dodge options, I have a pretty high expectation of my opponent dodging, so I'm going to actually uh, call that that my opponent's going to dodge his B. Um, for that reason, I think I'm going to go transformative drive. Um, this one will be his either his dodge or his remote, um, and I'm actually probably going to put I'm going to put probably my priority region to drive to make my drive faster, um, so that it can become one of my faster moves here. Uh, and transform to give it additional power. This will make drive really powerful with the four power and five priority, which will be just great later in the game. Um, like I said, I'm looking, trying to manage his attacks. I see that he has two burst type attacks, both burst and remote. So I'm figuring my opponent's probably going to do a burst move here. Um, and so I'm trying to do drive so I can stay in close. Um, he passes here. I could put my priority up to guarantee I outspeed my opponent. I think I'm going to. Yeah, since he used force the first turn, I can anti additional force here, and uh, I should be able to outspeed any attack my opponent is doing at this point. Even if he does grasp, I'll do uh, speed six to speed five, I think. What's nice about uh, this attack is. Transform it actually gives me a range 0 to 1, so I might even be able to um, get at range here on this attack. Might do uh, hit him at range. Uh, he went slow this turn, uh, which is interesting. I expected him to go fast or to dodge. He did neither, <laughs> which I guess is fine. Um, but it was not what I expected. Um, this is okay. I'm still ahead in the life race, but he's starting to get his leveled up attacks, which is pretty scary. I'm going to spend my stun guard to get additional power. I don't think stun guard is super important in this matchup, because I can usually be faster than 7 with most of my attacks. Or I can use, um, experimental to give my attacks enough stun guard where I don't need the reagent. Um, yeah, so my opponent is probably going to advance one here. Uh, strike me four. I'm still ahead, but my opponent has a lot more options here uh, with his, with his uh, leveled up attacks coming soon. Now, my opponent's dodge is now available. So, there's a chance that my opponent can dodge. Um, 
In addition, he's too like medium speed attack for now. This kind of puts me in a weird position because he could either go burst with slow, or he could do burst, or he could go something like drive or grass with fast. So perhaps I do something like sprite. I'm still worried about his burst and his remote though. Hmm. Burst remote, I might be able to. What was my burst? Hmm. I think I'm just gonna dodge his beat. I wanna get. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna dodge his beat. Um, he could dodge me, which I'm fine with. But I, I because he's got multiple burst options and. Um, and multiple fast options, it puts me in a pretty awkward position where I don't know what to do here. So I'm just gonna go switch dodge. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna go switch dodge and reposition myself, hopefully to the center. Forward positioning is really important, Metalcon. Um, I've, I've stated this in other videos, but uh, really the most important position you can get is either the corners where they can't dodge you or the center where you have the most um, options. Well, I didn't hit him this turn, so he's not upgrading cold or getting his absorption bonus, which is pretty good. He'll be getting two life, which is not the best, but I'm going to get um, good forward position and additional force this turn, so it's not actually that bad of a trade for me. Alright, so now I'm trying to figure out what to do here. Hmm. The tendency of staying pretty close to me most of this game. So I'm actually going to switch my finisher because he has been staying close to me almost every beat. Um, I expect that not to change. Alright, so I think this is going to be a turn where I use experimental. Um, I think I might use experimental strike. Yeah, I think I'm going to use experimental strike with range. Um, this will allow me if he bursts or he dodges back, I can get him to strike. I'm going to do experimental strike with range. Um, I would like to do install, but I did. he has too many options. He could go fast or slow here, so it's really hard for me to, to, to play the install. Plus, the install is an attack. You really want to commit early, um, and, and I didn't commit that way. So I'm just going to go experimental strike, um, and I'm going to anti range here. Um, and this will allow me to get full board coverage because I'm starting from the center position. And if he does hit me, I can uh, put my uh, power on the strike, which is would be pretty good. So we'll see. Um, we will put range in this. Uh, this will give me. Yeah, really excellent board coverage. Um, we'll get my opponent's attack. Salt plus zero power, so the most he could hit me this game is three, so I don't need to worry about stun guard. Um, like I said, burst or remote, I'm closing. Um, even grasp, I'm closing since before. So I think I'm okay with everything. I might anti power just because. Extra damage in. Um, hmm. The only issue with anti power is you know, I might want to have the extra power for my finisher. I'll anti extra power here. Just because, um, yeah, I'll answer the extra power here. I 
I have a little bit of a force lead because of that switch, so I put some little anti back. Oh, he did an anti back, so maybe he's dodging. We'll see. Probably dodging. Yep. And he plays switch himself, so he's gonna get that force lead back. Which is fine. I don't want to get below two fours so that I can have um, the priority. I can counter anything if I need to. Um, but yeah, this is okay. Uh, he's still going to be in a pretty good position. Well, actually, is it up to one? Experimental is advanced up to one, so I'm actually not going to get zero spaces since the events like this do. Yeah. Cool. This is great. So I'm just trying to get uh, coverage so I can cover both his burst and his remote, which I should be able to do just fine here. Alright. <clears throat> so now then, my opponent is a pretty has a pretty scary stuff now. You can do Terrify, which is really scary. Something like Terrified Shot. Or ter yeah, Terrified Shot is the new, which is speed one. You could try to under speed him. Um, maybe? I don't think I can. No. I, the only way I could under speed would be to do something like Residual Burst or Residual Shot. Tired, which I could do actually. Maybe I'll do residual shot. This will. Mm, yeah, but then you could do first. Huh. Then you could burst. I'm okay with that. We'll do residual shot here. Uh, the reason being is I have a huge amount of stun guard here. Um, I have full board coverage, um, it is move up to one, so I'll be able to maintain board center. Um, this will cover if he bursts or he remotes. Um, if he does orange, hopefully I can actually underspeed it, which is what I'm hoping. Um, yeah. So, that's the, the reason I played this was actually hopefully to clash. Oh, he's going fast. Um, it's going fast. I think I'm okay with that because he doesn't have a lot of ways of hitting me too hard, and I have full board coverage. So, yeah, I think I'm okay with that. Um, it might have been worth to to anti my power reagent there. Um, but I didn't. Probably should have. I don't know. Pretty low on my reagent resources, but. Um, definitely putting power in the shop is not a bad thing. Let's see what my phone is doing. Remote drive. Well, he retreats two, advances one. He's actually going to miss me here. Oh no. Oh no. So, remote drive is definitely an excellent move, but it's more um, if your phone's at range. I don't think this is going to work out the way my opponent was hoping. Oh man. Oh man. He, should have, he could have done Spike, which would have actually hit. Oh man, that's too bad for my opponent. Yeah, the, the, the drive forces you to advance at least one, and because the remote had such off the minimum range of two to three. It means you just straight up miss. Man, that's too bad for my opponent. Um, I'm going to continue to maintain board center. Again, with my opponent's dodge down, I just want to deal as much damage as I can uh, during these feats, feats while this dodge is down. And by maintaining board position in the center, I'll be able to cover all the squares much more effectively. Um, let's see. Well, we've got. His yellow upgrade now, which is a super powerful. Um, again, 
terrified kind of scares me here. Um, plus one for damage taken. Yeah, terrified is pretty scary. Um, this might be a beat where I go like alchemic grasp and get out of range of terrified maybe if I push him back one and I retreat two. One, two, three. No, he'd still be in range. So I guess we'll go drive so I have full board coverage and then I just need to figure out what I want to pair with it. I think I'm going to go with substantial drive. Uh, this will be speed 7, which should outspeed pretty much any of his options. Yeah, it does. Well, this will be speed 7, I'll be able to get a, uh, an agent back. Um, he will smack me in response here, perhaps, unless I stun him. We'll see how this how this goes. Um, this could actually... Oh, uh, I just realized this game should be really bad because it's orange. I always want to use substantial, it's always a bad idea. Unless you're finishing off your opponent. I mean, this isn't finishing my opponent, but it's getting him really close, so maybe that's okay. Getting him down to like below 5 is almost nearly as good as the straight up one. No, counter hand to power. Um, you're definitely outspeeding him. He's anti power, so he's just probably doing like terrible. Uh, gross. Uh, is he going for speed here? No, he's going for stun guard. Hmm. Maybe if I can stun him? Maybe so. We'll see how this goes. Um, there's definitely a cold shot. Yeah, I mean, if it's sympathetic shot, I might be able to stun him. We'll see. We'll see how this goes out. Um, yeah, the idea here is with substantial drive is that since I leveled up, powered up my drive earlier, I should be able to outspeed everything, which I am. Um, and, yeah, and I'll be able to get the reagent back. Oh man, I'm glad this wasn't first. First was actually just straight up beat me. Because he could have, um. I want to get. Do I want range? Priority? Stun guard? I think I want. Priority. Sure. Um. Yeah, if he would have done burst with reserve, he would have been able to get at range and then reserve it with red and move into the space. But it just straight up beat this beat. Should have been. Sad for me. But because he did shot um, and we're at range one, the reserve doesn't actually protect me. Um, so, yeah, I think again, uh, something like burst um, or even grasp, perhaps, except for without speed, and would have allowed him to stay at range and I couldn't have hit him. Uh, reserve is a really sweet move, especially if you expect your opponent to dodge. Um, but, uh, like in this, this shows the, the weakness of reserves. If your opponent's already at space one, um, you're, you can hit reserve. Now, reserve works great in the case where you have your opponent cornered at space one. You can do something like reserve strike and they can't escape. But since I had board center here, reserve is pretty risky unless you do it with something like first to prevent them from closing distance. Um, that being said, most of Rifflin's Styles have zero to one range, so reserve is pretty difficult to pull off against Rifflin in general. Um, and I think I might just want to go for a. Um, actually, I was going to say I might want to go for cycling my attacks, but I'm just going to go with transforming strike here. Um, the reason being is this is full board coverage. I have super high stun guard, so if he does hit me, I can hit him back. Um, yeah, so I think this is a really good combination here. Um, I expect my opponent to dodge. No, I guess my opponent just conceded. Well, um, I hope this was a learning experience for everyone. This was really, I tried to play this in a way where I was managing my opponent's 
styles while I manage my own styles. Focus on when they go slow um, for me to go fast, when they go fast for me to go slow, and really just try to understand the options and counter with my own options. I think you can see that uh, it worked out really well for me. Um, you know, Seven is a fairly difficult character. I've played it a lot, um, but so is Riplum. So this, I think, this was a pretty good matchup of of um, pretty equal play. But in, I think my advantage, hopefully my advantage came by really trying to carefully study his options and play well around them. Anyway, I hope uh, you learned and I hope you enjoyed watching this as much as I enjoyed playing it. Have a good day.